Hi, my name is Dr. Vakas. Today we will discuss how to take a detailed history when a patient presents with paraplegia. So let's start. Start with name, age, residence, occupation and admission. Then comes the presenting complaint of weakness of limbs. Ask the patient anything else you want to tell. Uh, I suggest you uh, it give time to the patient to tell something more about his disease. Then uh, ask about the diabetes and hypertension, but do not take a detailed history at this time. Whenever a case of uh, limb weakness come in the exam, I suggest you to use this mnemonic of uh, copia. C for clarification, O for onset, P for progression, I for intermittency and A for associated factors. So you will start with clarification, ask the patient what do you mean by weakness. Give time to tell the patient about his weakness. Is there loss of strength in your limbs or you have difficulty in coordination? Then ask the patient which limbs do you feel they are weak, are they equally weak? If the patient says that he has weakness in his uh, lower limbs, then ask uh, is there any weakness in the upper limbs and uh, ask the question weakness is same throughout the day, this question will rule out the myasthenia. Then comes the onset, as the patient uh, is this weakness developed gradually or it was sudden in onset. Then comes the progression, as the patient is the weakness is same or it has progressed or improved over the period of time. If it is progressing, then ask the patient uh, when it started, in which limbs it, this weakness was at that time and now it has progressed to which areas. In progression, ask the patient, can you go to washroom or need aid? Can you change your clothes or you are totally bedridden? Then comes the intermittency ask the past history of such weakness. By asking this question you will rule out the periodic paralysis and multiple sclerosis. If the patient says yes that I had weakness in the past then you will uh, ask the pa patient that when this weakness developed is there any residual weakness is present now or if it resolved then ask the patient over which period of time it resolved. Okay? Then comes the associated factors. What do you feel that your limbs are stiff or flaccid? And then uh, sensory loss. As the patient is there any numbness or is there a loss of uh, sensation to temperature or pain? Then ask up to which area you feel numbness. This will help you to find out the dermatomal level. Then comes the bowel and bladder control. If the patient says that I have loss of bowel and bladder control, then ask the patient the weakness came first or the bowel and bladder loss was together along with the weakness. Whenever a case of uh, neurology comes in exam, I suggest you to ask these questions. Ask the patient headache and about scissors. This will help to rule out the SOL brain. Then ask the visual disturbances like uh, uh, this may happen in uh, GBS, multiple sclerosis or Frederick's ataxia. Then ask about their swallowing or speech difficulties and uh, about the tremors in the hands. While taking the history, 
uh, if uh, you feel that the limbs are soft and no sensory loss then move forward in this way and consider uh, GBS, porphyria, lead poisoning and periodic paralysis. About lead poisoning we have already asked in uh, occupation and in periodic about the periodic paralysis we asked the patient initially uh, in the intermittency is there any history of uh, weakness in the past. So move forward by this way ask for shortness of breath difficulty in swallowing and uh, is there any history of palpitations. Uh, for GBS ask about previous history of sore throat or diarrhea or va vaccination or any history of surgery. Then move to ask this question uh, in, is there any history of injury to spine, have you lifted the weight before the development of this weakness, use of any medication like steroid and uh, ask about the uh, chronic cough contact with a TB person or any weight loss. Lumps and bumps are important because uh, there is possibility that uh, can metastasize to the spine. Ask about the joint pains, rash, oral and genital ulcers because vasculitis can cause uh, paraplegia. Family history is important. And, uh, then comes the complication of the disease, ask about uh, the bed sores, swelling of one limb uh, that could be due to the DVT or development of cough or fever after this weakness. So now it is the time to ask about the diabetes and hypertension and past history of TB, now take a detailed history uh, of them at this time. And then comes the systemic review, start with the general questions like uh, ask about the fever, weight loss, appetite, heat and cold intolerance. Uh, about the thyroid, it is uh, important to ask that uh, it is related with periodic paralysis and ask about polyuria and polydipsia and then cough shortness of breath, palpitation, abdominal pain question is important. This will rule out the acute intermittent porphyria. In medication history, ask about an use of any medication before the development of this weakness and uh, about the current medication which are being used by the patient and ask is there any improvement after the use of these medications. A patient may give you the clue that he has is, uh, got the treatment of plasmapheresis or immunoglobulins. Then ask the past surgical history, personal history uh, like smoking and alcohol. Dietary history is important regarding the B12 uh, deficiency and uh, then family history. This is all about the history of paraplegia. So subscribe and like our channel for further videos. Thank you.